Okay, hello there, YouTube. Uh, if you enjoy this video and you want to learn more, please like and subscribe. That will help me out greatly, and I appreciate it. So we're going to start over here in GIMP and make a new file. 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. And we're going to start off right here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is um, Shift B for the fill. And I'm just going to fill a gray tone and create a new layer. And I'm going to start drawing on this layer, and this will just be my background contrast layer. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the paintbrush, P, and I'm going to select a sort of dark wood tone and start drawing the trunk of the running tree man. Okay, so here's a quick tip. I'm going to um, hit R, Rectangle Select, and I'm just going to select over these parts here, and Control C to copy, and just move my shape over here, and Control V to drop it, and anchor it down, and there you go. So I have two sets of legs in one swoop. The only thing left for me to do is to uh, shift B or fill bucket and I'm just going to fill it in with the base tone of the tree color. That's a little bit light. I'm going to just fill all these in right now. Okay, looks great. Now, um, there's the alpha. And I'm just going to ship this over into Unity so we can get started on... Um, well, there's going to be a lot of modifications to the character, so we just want to get into Unity to start rigging it and working from there. So I'll see you in Unity. Okay, so we're going to send this over to Unity. We're going to take the alpha only. Export it as. And you send it to your respective folder. And I'm just going to send this over, export it as is, and switch over to Unity right now. Okay, over in Unity, we want to go to the Asset Store and make sure we download Anima, Unity Anima 2D is free. And just want to make sure it's up to date and imported into your project, which it is in mine. So we're going to get started right away. Okay, so over here in Unity, we're going to uh, find the sprite sheet and look at the import settings and we're going to click on multiple, go to the sprite editor and we're going to click slice, automatic, and we're going to slice. And then each one, each uh, sprite will have its own individual name. Okay, so we're going to apply <coughs> and then we're going to
go down to Anima 2D, create Anima 2D Sprite Mesh. It's going to create a Sprite Mesh for each one of these. And each Sprite Mesh we will attach a bone to, but first we're going to build the character and then place the bones. Okay, so here it is. And I'm going to painstakingly rename each one of these. So I'm going to speed up the video from here. Okay, so now that I have the sprite meshes that are properly named, I'm going to start building the character and I'm going to fast forward the video again. So over here in the hierarchy, I'm going to make a game object, an empty, and I'm going to call it Tree Man Model, Tree Man Model, and I'm just going to add all of these to it. Hold Shift. Okay. So now we have the tree man model, and all of these are going to get a sorting layer. And we're going to call this new layer tree man. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward the video here while I um, change all of the layers tree man to their proper layers and now I'm going to start and adding I'm going to fast forward the video right now so uh, in the tree model I'm going to create another empty and we're going to call this bones underneath this subset okay and let's start adding bones bone. and this bone you could just grab the bone anywhere swing it around uh, but I want to reset this bone to zero Uh, let's reset. And there you go. Now you can grab the square. And I'm going to start positioning the bones. I'm actually going to put bones in here, even though there's not a separate sprite. But um, I'm going to fast forward through this part. I'm just going to add the bones one by one. Right here is how you change the length. So you want to add each bone to its parent and put it in the proper position and just go through the whole character until you have every bone to every sprite.
Here you want to add the arm bone to the hip bone so it moves with the whole body. And be sure to add all your limbs this way so they can move with the entire body. Okay, so now we need to um, bind the bones with, uh, with the sprites. So on the, we're going to start with the head, start on the tree head, and we're going to go to the head bone and drop that on there. And then in window, up here on the top, we're going to open up Anima 2D, Sprite Mesh Editor. And we're going to go over here to the head part. Now we can see that it's not binded, bound yet. So click bind. And now it's bound. So it should move. Didn't move. The head. And you need to apply it. And you can see it moves with the bone. Okay, so I'm going to go through each one of these and do that whole step process right now. So I'll fast forward the video. Okay, so in the foot, there's two bones here. So I just want to show that um, the right foot. I want to take the right foot bone and put it there and then bind it. And then you'll see the two different colors represent the weight or amount of influence that each bone has on the system. So you want to just kind of tweak it and there you go. Now this toe will stretch the sprite in that direction. So that's just a quick tip. Okay, so when you're finished binding all the bones, you'll see that um, you see even here that the sprite is bending with the mesh. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to have to do is add IK to the bone so we can easily animate this. And it looks like I have an issue right there I have to repair. Okay, now all the issues are fixed and my tree man take a bow is ready to be set up for IK. Okay, you want to create a separate game object underneath your character and call it IK. And you want to, under this, um, make sure you center it zero, reset it. You want to create an on, uh, IK. So I'm going to, under here, 2D object, IK limb. And I'm going to move that down here. And I'm going to call this left arm IK. Left arm IK. And I'm going to find that bone. That's the lower left arm bone. And there's your IK for the bone. And I also realize that you can rotate this because the hand will rotate. So that's a good uh, good thing to do. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the IK on the leg. I'm going to go IK, create IK limb. And this one's going to be... I guess here. I'm going to call that left leg IK. And, whoops. <laughs> left leg IK. And I'm going to look for that lower left leg bone. And see how it looks like a, a bird leg, kind of. So we're going to enable the uh, flip here. 
so that way we get our knee bend okay and then one last IK limb the right leg IK and we're gonna move that down here and look for that lower right leg bone and again we're gonna flip and presto okay so we have our IK set and we're ready to basically start animating this character which we will do in the next video